welcome back to my channel um if you're new here my name is divine goddess but um my real name is nautica um but a lot of people call me naughty um if you're not new welcome back and um also don't forget to like comment and subscribe um turn on your post notifications so you get notified when i post and um yeah so today i'm gonna be doing my first q and a um i felt like i should do a q and a so you guys can get to know me a little bit better because i haven't really done any like um i i feel like i don't talk to y'all a lot so i wanted to make this video basically about just answering questions people may have um and yeah so i have my questions right here on my computer um I really tried to send them to my iPad, but I wasn't, it wasn't able to airdrop. So since I record on my phone, I had to airdrop it to my computer. Um, I have how many questions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixteen. But I'm not going to answer all of these questions. Um, some of them I don't want to answer. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, I'm watching my son right now. So I have to make sure he's not getting into anything. Okay. So the first question is, how old am I? I'm 24 years old. My birthday is March 20th. Um, I am a Pisces. I'm literally the last day you can be a Pisces because Pisces ends on the 20th. Um, and that's why I have on this little necklace. I'm a Pisces. Um, comment down below if you're a Pisces. Also, I'm I'm low key a Aries too because I'm on the cups cups of being a Pisces and an Aries. Um, cause like I said, Aries starts on the 21st of March, and Pisces ends on the 20th. So, um, someone asked, "How's your lock journey going?" Um, actually, I did have locks. I started them last October, um, around the third or fourth of October. And um, after my baby was born, he was born in October. After he was born, I was getting frustrated because um, postpartum, like I guess I was really losing my hair really bad. So, um, and the back of my hair, it wouldn't grow. So me having locks and not having hair in the back really irritated me. So I ended up just doing a big chop. I cut all my hair off. Um, so I'm starting fresh. Hopefully, um, I can, I'm like, I'm planning to get my locks back because I do want locks, but, um, hopefully my hair grows back how I want it to. Cause if I, if it doesn't, I'm going to have to cut it off again. Um, this is actually like the third time I cut all my hair off. Um, I'm pretty okay with doing big chops at this point. Um, you guys might see my hair eventually, but, um, I don't really like to do my hair because even though it's short it still requires a lot of maintenance um so i wear wigs a lot um i don't always wear like wigs with lace i wear a lot of headband wigs too um because i don't like that tension but um i do like lace wigs sometimes um i just can't wear them for long i i wear them for like three days max and then i'm done um how long have you been vegan I've been vegan going on a year. It will be a year in August. Um, and honestly, being vegan has really changed my life. Um, if you haven't watched my vegan grocery haul, well, it's really not even a vegan grocery haul, but it's a lot of vegan items in that grocery haul. Um, make sure you go watch it. I'll leave the link so you guys can click it um, in the card. Um, but I really enjoy being a vegan. Sometimes it can be hard because like you have to find like new recipes um on how to make them like if you want to eat food like you've been eating all your life like burgers and stuff you have to figure out how to make it vegan and um a lot of the times it could be a little frustrating because if it don't come out right i'm gonna get i'm gonna get mad but um i really do enjoy being vegan um and it's just it's just a a weight lift like you know I, I feel like a lot of the times when I used to eat like meat I used to always feel weighed down but now since having like a plant-based diet like I feel more energy um I don't get 
like my like bloated when I eat like I get full but I don't get like bloated how I would when I was eating meat it's just a lot of good um factors um pros pros about being a vegan I'm pretty sure it's some cons like I said it's kind of hard when you want to like figure out certain recipes but eventually you'll figure it out and the, the more you do it the better you will um, it's super it's it's super I like being a vegan. Yeah. Okay. Next question is, um, what do you fume on? Fume, 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 fume. I um record. Let's go say record. I record on my um iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro, both the the Max. Um, I've been thinking about upgrading my phone, but I'm really not in a rush to because like every time a new iPhone came out, I've always had the newest one and like I'm getting older. I really don't care about that anymore. Um, I like I do want a new phone, but I'm not like in a rush to get a new phone. Um, I know they got the 13 out, but then they're going to bring out the 14 and then they're going to bring out the 15. So I'm probably just going to wait, um, probably another couple of months i might get another phone in a couple of months i don't i don't know yet um how's how's life as a mom i love being a mom y'all it's actually babies are a handful you guys if any mothers watch me y'all know babies are a handful but honestly watching a person grow like right before your eyes is just something so amazing to me and just being a mom like your baby like ba like your baby really loves you like your baby needs you like i love being needed by him like he can't do a lot of things for himself like i'm really i think i'm gonna cry when he starts to get older and stuff like walking and things like that because he's starting to crawl but um he hasn't been walking yet. like he's not walking yet but he's trying to um he is seven months right now um, he'll be eight months at the end of June, but he's growing so fast. And this is my little bundle. I love him so much. You want to be in the video? Um, how's your spiritual journey coming along? Guys, if I could, hmm, I don't want to get too much into it, but I've been meditating a lot. I've been doing my shadow work. I've been, uh, have I'm getting more crystals. I've been uh, um, releasing a lot of negative energy, just coming into myself, like who I truly am. I've been um, on a good journey. Like I'm really excited about this journey. Um, it's something that I never would have thought that I would have been on at this moment in my life. But the fact that I am on it, I really, am happy about it and i'm like i'm just i'm in love with myself y'all and that's pretty much i feel like when you are on your spiritual journey you have to figure out who you really are and you have to show love to yourself like you have to really really love yourself when you are on your spiritual journey and it's just an exciting experiment like experience for me um, to start like actually learning myself what I like what I don't like and um, what I'm really into like I used like I don't know if like you guys don't know but a lot of people who subscribe to me right now are people from my like I had this channel but it was a different name the name was Naughty by Nature and um, I love doing YouTube but for a very like for a couple of years like two or three years I stopped doing YouTube um, for a specific reason. I might do a story time about it. I'm not sure yet, but I stopped doing YouTube for a specific reason. And honestly, looking back now, I wish that I never would have stopped because I probably would be so much farther along. But the fact that I'm growing, like my channel is still growing. And I know people be like, oh, if you like delete all your videos and you start your channel over, like it's pretty much messing with the algorithm. But a lot of the, like a lot of the, um, the love I'm getting now, I wasn't getting before when I was on YouTube. And it's just like a different, it's like a different vibe for me now. And like, I always love doing YouTube. Like I love doing, like being creative. I really can do whatever I want to on my channel. Like, um, it's, it's just a, 
this is how I express like my creativity through YouTube because I love doing hair. I love doing my makeup. I love um, like even now just being on my my um, my health journey and my spiritual journey. Like I'm, I, I want to be able to talk about that stuff with y'all. So being like a YouTuber in general, being able to be as, as creative as you want to, I really enjoy it, honestly. I, I really do. I enjoy it a lot um how's your mental health uh mentally i'm doing great um i think this is like the the best i felt in my entire life y'all like i'm not even playing like i've been doing so many things self-care wise like i feel like a lot of the times i stop taking care of myself as well um i don't mean like bathing and stuff like that i just mean like mentally i was not in control of like myself and um, sometimes even physically and I'm learning what triggers me but but before I let it trigger me I gotta like calm down like calm myself down a lot of times I didn't know how to do that I will always just react um so I'm learning how to not just react and to not let different energies affect my energy like I really don't let nobody mess with my energy anymore like my energy is mine and the only way you're going to get it is if i give it to you and um only if you deserve it at this point um what is your biggest regret like i said my biggest regret is stopping youtube for as long as i did but i'm back now so i'm excited for what's to come and um, i'm just really excited to be on this journey again um greatest accomplishment um, my greatest accomplishment is living by myself. Um, well, I live, well, it's me, my boyfriend, and my baby, but having my own apartment, being able to buy my second car. Um, my first car was a 2012 Ford Focus. I had it for since like when I was 20 years old. That's what that was my 20th um, birthday gift to myself. So um, when I got pregnant, I'm like, we need a bigger car. Um, we need a better car. So I end up getting a, um, 2017 Dodge journey and I, I love it. I do want a new car though, eventually, but, um, right now I'm, I, I, I kind of upgraded from a 2012 to a 2020, 2017. So moving on up, never going down. Um, Oh, and another accomplishment of mine, which would be, like, I know you only can have one biggest accomplishment, but I got a couple. So, um, I told myself that I wasn't going to work for, not work for anybody, but I wasn't going into work anymore. And I ended up finding a work from home job. So, I could be at home with my baby and I don't have to miss any of his milestones. That's, like, something that I was really big about, like, not missing anything that he does. Like, crawling like his little talks like we'd be talking to each other y'all and like i just wanted to be at home with my baby and watch him grow and progress in life so that's pretty much another big accomplishment for me and i i mean i get paid well ish i i want to work for myself so that's um i want to work for myself i'm trying to start a business um and as well as doing youtube but um i know everything is like a process but right now me working from home is and I don't have to talk on the phone, y'all. I do data entry, so it's it's literally exactly what I wanted. Um, favorite part about doing YouTube? Um, my favorite part about being doing YouTube is being able to upload what I want, when I want, how I want to. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much. What's wrong with me? Here you go, stinky. Um. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Hmm. I'm low-key thinking about moving. Um, we're trying to get a house. And if I could go anywhere, it would be somewhere tropical. Now, specifically the place, I'm not sure. Um, I've thought about um, a couple of places, but they're not tropical. But they're warmer than where I live. I live in Michigan, so there you go. Okay. So um what would you change about yourself if you could um if i'm speaking about myself right now in this moment nothing 
besides i mean i guess um just um taking my health journey serious so losing weight because i did gain a lot of weight when i was pregnant and um it's it's something foreign to me because i've never been as big as i am now not saying i'm like like huge but um i gained at least 40 to 50 pounds when i was pregnant so that was like a big whoosh but like since okay so like i have like a certain shape to my body so like to some people it might not look like it but to me i can tell because i was always a certain weight um throughout my entire life so i can tell so that's why i'm trying to get my my body together um reach on my fitness goals and things like that but yeah i would literally just want to go back to the weight that i was before i got pregnant so that's what i'm working on y'all um what is another one what motivates you to work hard what is the worst gift you've received um what motivates me to work hard is um me wanting to be successful um my baby i want to give him everything that i never had um and more i want to be that parent that will literally take care of their kid for their entire life. I'm not with that. Oh, once my baby's 18, I'm done with him. He's on his own. I will literally take care of this little boy forever. I don't care if, how anybody feel about that because he's my son. And that's just what I want to do as a parent. I want to be able to buy his first car. I want to be able to get him his first apartment or his first house, whatever. I want to be able to do everything for him. So, and yeah um but yeah that is the end of this video that was all the questions that i was going to answer um like i said some of the questions i was not going to answer but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one peace out